Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Olivia and in today's video I am going to be discussing a really hot topic right now in the rap community, scarf storage. Now if there's one thing I've learned while wrapping, it's that scarf storage is an ever, ever moving, ever changing process. This is, it's something that it's, it's always evolving depending on our scarf needs and our space needs. So it's going to be changing constantly through, throughout our wrap journey. Now for the, today's video, I'm going to be coming at this through my own personal experience with the scarf, different scarf storage solutions and giving you the pros and cons of each one. Now I'm not promoting one over the other. I'm just going to be sh sh sharing my experiences. Um, because again, wrap, wrap storage, and I, I probably need to say this straight up front, wrap storage is personal preference. It has to do with your needs, that mean, meaning how many scarves you have, your space needs. Some, some of us have more space, some have less space, um, and your aesthetic. So it's different for every person. So, all right, I do hope that you find this helpful um, because I didn't, I didn't have anything to go by when I first started and going through this, it can be frustrating and, and I just want to be as helpful as I can for, for you ladies. Now to, to take it back to the very, very beginning of my wrap journey, I decided to wrap one of the first wraps that I learned to wrap with my two, my two first, um, Rapunzel scarves. These are the my first order for order from Rapunzel. Those these two beauties here. So this kind of puts me in the mood to take you back to way back when, <laughs> um, and show you my very first scarf storage. It was a bin. Now it everybody I think starts with a bin. <laughs> um, it's it's different shaped. It doesn't matter the shape. It doesn't matter the size. Everybody has a bin. Um, my bin looked kind of like this on a good day on a good day it looked like this um otherwise other times it was just a jumbled up hot mess um and things were just in there so when i had a small amount probably up to about 20 scarves this bin was okay-ish um it held them i put it on the shelf they were neatly tucked away at least from the outside, they were neatly tucked away. Nobody could ever tell what was going on inside until you pulled out the, you pulled out the, um, the bin because it looks really nice. But the, one of the cons with this is I could never keep the scarves neat. I could never keep them to this degree of, of neatness because I'd pull out a scarf and they would all fall in on each other. And then I'd have to fold when I got done, fold it up and stuff it back in. Now, I think part of my problem may have been that I was trying to keep scarves of different textures and different sizes and, and all of that inside of a bin. So part of it could have been user error, but um, since I had so many different textures and sizes and styles of scarves, it, it's, it's what it was. Now, again, this is very, very great. It's a very cool place to start. Um, and it obviously didn't work out too too badly because when I outgrew my one bin, I moved it from the bin to a dresser drawer. And a lot of us do that. We graduate from the bin to the dresser drawer and it's just a bigger bin. That's all it is. We still have the same struggles and it still has the same pros, the same cons as a bin. You know, the pros being you can tuck them away. They're neat, neatly tucked away. They're, they're tucked away. Um, and to varying degrees of neatness, depending on our, our us. Um, now, when it comes to these kinds of solutions, sometimes the cons, at least for me, outweigh the, the pros. Now, I found it hard to find things. I tried stacking, I tried filing, I tried, I tried categorizing, I tried everything I could in the dresser drawer to keep them neat, to keep them readily accessible, aesthetically pleasing, just 
nothing for me worked when it came to that. Now I did keep using the drawer for a while because that's what I had and it, it was what I did. Um, I did find myself pulling out my scarves from the drawer a lot to coordinate them with outfits. And if it's something that's really frustrating about it um, for me was that I was constantly pulling more scarves out than I needed to pull out to match them to outfits that I was going to wear. Um, now, that may work for some people, and again, because you're neater and more organized than I am, and there are different solutions, I think, for, for filing them this way. I think I've seen cardboard um, rectangles or, or squares where you wrap the, the scarf around it, and then you can just file it that way. I've also seen it done with plastic pieces. They're, they're very thin. Um, and you just wrap the scarf around it and then they're easier to file. But for me, I totally would not be, I would not be um, doing that on a daily basis. Uh, it's hard enough for me now to fold up my scarves after I take them off on a daily basis and put them away. I just put them on the chair and then once a week I put them away. Um, that's a little, little something. Sorry, adjust myself a little bit. But um, so when I when I moved from the bin to the drawer and then the drawer until it was um, overflowing, I was jamming in as many scarves as I could. And once that happened, I moved from the drawer to something that um, what, uh, let me explain. <laughs> let me, let me. I moved to hangers because I was like, oh, okay, well, I can't have them in the drawer. Well, let's have them on hangers. And hangers work really well for a certain amount of scarves and for certain types of scarves. And each type of hanger works differently. And I know that's a whole lot, but there are hangers and I'm going to do a montage of hangers in here right now. Okay, so the first hanger that I put in there was the hangers with the uh, with all the O's side by side. Now those work very nicely for thinner scarves that I I've, at least I found that they work very very well for the thinner scarves. I don't have one of those right at the moment to show you. I would show it to you, but I don't have one. Um, so you have those and. The thing that I, I worried about with those is you have two, in, when I was at this stage, I'll go with that. When I was at this stage, I had two kinds of them available. I had the metal ones with, with the metal hanger and they were just all the metal links. Or I had the ones that were this velvety type texture with this really odd attachment for hanging. Now the first one, was never perfectly smooth. I, I don't know, maybe it was where I saw them, the suppliers that, that were available to me at the time, they were never completely smooth. They always had burrs and, or little metal um, pieces that stuck out that could get stuck and a tear, snag, a scarf. Um, and it also had the pinching points in between the O's. Now you, you're saying, yeah, but you don't put the scarves through there. But sometimes when you're pulling out, bits of the scarf will get stuck and pinched in those those betweens. And that was an that was an issue. So I didn't like that very much. The ones that were more like this were great for holding lighter scarves. Um, for me, they had the velvet, they things weren't falling off. Um, which I forgot when I, I forgot to t talk about with the other one, the metal one, um, when I was pulling out, they're, they're stacked. When I was pulling out the scarf here, this scarf down here sometimes came out with this one. So it was a bit of a, a to-do to pull out a scarf. I just couldn't grab it and pull it out. Um, 
so those those two things weren't weren't work they weren't going to work for me they weren't just weren't going to work for me because i didn't want to take a chance on hurting my scarf or the inconvenience of pulling out another scarf when i'm trying to get this scarf on top of it they also the the ones like this with this this I don't know how to explain it, but it's very, very weakly attached to the the hanger. And when you're getting getting 9, 10, 11, 12 scarves onto a hanger like this, the likelihood that this piece is going to break off, it's pretty high. So that was that was kind of wasteful to to do that. Now I did use these kinds of hangers when I was going through the journey. Um, and I did use this type of hanger for certain scarves. Now, the, the issue with this type of hanger is that it would, it's a pants hanger, and I have this problem with my pants and skirts and everything else, is that when you knock it, it goes like this. And your whatever's on here gets dumped off. Now, the second photo that I put up is a photo of something like this, but it has the cute S-bends, so you can get five five different scarves on it and that's kind of cool so it, it it eliminates the problem of tilting and dumping um while still while adding the the um, negative of it's bulky now you're having one scarf here and then the second third fourth fifth it's you're adding a lot of bulk as you go out even if you add this side to that side to this side to that side, it's a lot of a lot of bulk that gets added. Also, weight. Um, just because you, you know, they say you can have five scarves, um, you, you probably it probably isn't a, a good thing to have five 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 scarf hangers. <sighs> Get my words clear here. These all are great solutions, but thinking of your closet and how much these things weigh fully, fully loaded, depending on the number of scarves and scarf hangers that you have in your closet, that could be a whole lot of weight on your unit. Um, so we all have different, different unit, different um, closet units. Mine is wooden, it's similar to this, um, with but I still have the bars that go across. The bars are held in with plastic pieces, and the plastic pieces are not the sturdiest pieces in the world. I've already snapped two of them, um, and so when we're adding this much weight to that kind of situation, it could possibly pull our cur our curtain, pull our rod down from the wall. I did the same thing with the metal ones that are, are more like a grate. Those could be pulled out of the wall. So thinking of that, put that into, take that into consideration when, when choosing hangers, that having a large quantity of them hung in your closet could do that. All right. Okay, so editing me, I added in three photographs that are of hangers that were not available when I was at this stage in my my scarf journey. Um, one of them is a, a, I marked it in the video, but it's holes are more oblong than than round. And it's right next to the, the photograph of the hanger with all the circles. Um, the next one is the individual scarf, so hope rings. Those are really cute um, and they're great. You just need a whole heck of a lot of them and a whole um, a whole lot of space to use them. Um, the next one is or is really two um, hangers. They're tie hangers. Now these are really nifty for smaller scarves and I could totally see them working. They their profile is different than the traditional scarf hanger. So these might these might be worth a, a go just for for trying out because I've never actually seen them in person or or tried them, but the profile being different, um, it's worth a it's worth a go. I'm actually quite intrigued by those next two. 
Now, something I forgot to talk about in here um, was the standing racks. I don't believe I talked about the standing rack. Um, and in case I didn't, um, I want to talk about that because I'm adding a photograph of that. It's something like you would find in a boutique. Um, that boutique stand is great. It's really, really great for displaying the, the small amount of scarves. Um, so I just thought I'd add that in there. Um, it's not for me, obviously I've got too many scarves for displaying on that. I need way too many of those, but that's also an interesting, was not available to me kind of, kind of scarf option. So hangers did not work, did not, they just didn't work. It was just too much weight in my closet, too much bulk in the closet. I needed the space for clothing, you know, I didn't want to take it all up with, with scarves. So I went and on a trip to, to Rapunzel, Baltimore, to see Tikva, I was get, picking up an order of scarves. Um, I noticed that I'm going to reach down here. Let me grab this. I had to hide it from the cats. I noticed that she had these really great bars on the wall. Now, I have mine tied together so that it doesn't fall out onto the floor and make a huge racket because I'm clumsy. Um, but these curtain rods, nice sturdy curtain rod, um, they work. I've seen them work and they're fantastic for tying the scarves. I'm going to try this really quick. I think we've seen these before. Okay, so I'll do this with this scarf. I'll try to be very careful with it. Okay, so two ways of doing this, just the traditional over the top kind of kind of thing, or the, the knot where you drop it over and find the center. drop it through and give it a tuck. So it kind of looks something like this. This is really great um, to, to store them. They're really beautiful. It's, it's amazing. Um, I didn't end up using that mine. I bought this curtain rod. I bought a couple of them and I didn't end up using them because I made the rookie mistake of not measuring my space or measuring the space that I had and uh, these rods were way too big, even fully closed for the space that I had. And at the time, this wasn't my scarf room. This was my boy's bedroom. So I didn't have space to hang these up, which is, is one of the drawbacks. You have to have the space to hang these guys. So I am, I am, I ended up with extra, <laughs> extra curtain rods. So I'm gonna put this back down underneath. Now, again, those work really well. Those are really cool for displaying the scarves. Just have to have the space to do so. So when that didn't work, I decided to get a scarf drying rack because I would say I liked the idea of displaying them. And I saw the, I was wandering around the store and I saw the drying rack and I said, that is amazing. I think I could work with that and hang my scarves on it. Now, it was cool. It was really cool. I really enjoyed that rack um, I, because it had the bars across and I could get all of my scarves on it and it was amazing. I could have them displayed. It fit in the space that I needed it to fit because it was about oh, so big. So it really did fit in what I needed it. Um, so the, the only con I found is that I had a really hard time attaching it to the wall. Um, I don't know why I could never hit a stud to, to mount it on the wall, but for some reason the closet didn't seem to have studs or it just had one and it was right down the center. And that doesn't really help me any when I'm trying to hang the, um, hang that. That was my only issue with that particular style. Um, I don't have any photographs of it because I didn't realize that it was it was a thing to struggle with when I was, I, I figured everybody else had it together and that I was the only one who was struggling with storage. 
so I didn't want to put my um, my shortcomings out there for everybody to see. Like this girl is can't just can't get it together. So I didn't take any pictures of it, but it was it was great. I liked it. I did outgrow it. Um, so I moved from that. And I'm going to get up um, and show you what I moved to, at least one portion of it, because the rest of it is still out in the garage. Um, get up. Ignore the, please ignore the rain. It's pouring outside, if you can hear it. This guy here is what I moved to next. Now, I'm gonna try to raise this up some. Okay. So this guy is what I came up with. This is the solution I came up with. These bars here are the bars from the drying rack and this outside is PVC. Now, by this point, I had space for this in the other room. Um, I just made it a, a bifold and it was just this way. I had two of these. And it, were, it was great because I had the best of the, the floor standing, not mounted on the wall kind of thing, and the ability to hang scarves. So we'll just grab, grab a couple of these. I could just, could just toss it on like so. And it would be perfect. Yeah. I ended up with a whole bunch of scarves, just in different colors. But <laughs> by the end of this, I had four panels and they went rainbow from red or pink all the way down through to the end with blacks, grays, whites, browns on the, the final. But this worked really well. Um, I had a lot, when I built this, I had a lot of requests for how I did this. Um, I actually wrote up sort of um, a primitive model, a primitive um, direction sheet on how I did this. Um, and it's a bit, if somebody wants it, I can dig it up and give it to you. But it's just PVC pipe that I had left over. We'll get back to talking about it. Well, several, 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 several years ago, um, probably, probably a decade now ago, the kids and I built a sukkah out of PVC. Um, so I had this leftover in the garage, just kind of hanging out, not doing anything. And I thought I would just utilize it. I had the PVC, the fittings. I had these great um, hinges kind of laying around from a failed project. And when, um, when I put this together, I just dry fit it, which means I did not glue it together. I put it together just to see if the design would work. Um, I found out one thing that I, in, when in the original plans I didn't have was this crossbar across the bottom. That seemed to, it needed that at the bottom with the, with the T's to give it stability because otherwise the bottoms pulled apart and the bottom rungs came out. Now this, this was the most excellent form of scarf storage until I adopted my little mica. Right. I'm gonna put this back. And once I adopted mica, he having a cat and having scarf scarves hanging are not the, the best things. Because my little man, you know, when we first got him, I was excited because he wasn't interested in the scarves, not at all. And they were in here hanging, you know, on their big scarf rack. He wasn't really interested in them. He just kind of looked at them like whatever. Um, then one day I came in and he was on the top of the scarf unit and I was like, no. So I, I didn't want him to inadvertently rip my scarves. And keeping him out of this room when I spend a really <laughs> a substantial amount of time per day in this room is not practical because they want to be with me now. It's now it's a day. I have Luna. Um, the cats want to be with me wherever I am. So keeping them out of the room is not, it's not reasonable. Now about this time, um, I did receive this cabinet 
as as a gift. Um, it was a one of my wonderful relatives had it in her house and she moved, she gave it to me. Um, so when I got that, I was, oh my gosh, that was amazing. I could just put them all, all the scarves in there and I will open it up and show you. It's got a lot of space. I don't know why I moved this back in. This has got a lot of space in it. So this is what I moved to next to put all the scarves in. And Having all these shelves was great. Um, I jam packed as many of them in there as possible. I know, let's, let's let's take this. So I jam packed as many in here as possible. But like I said, I jam packed as many in here as possible. So I needed more storage. I needed more storage. So I, trying to keep things very very pleasing aesthetically. I went and I looked at the local hardware store for closet solutions and I saw these two guys. And not to get too excited about it, I just bought I just bought the two. And I said, "We'll see how this works um, because I wasn't quite sure what the cats would cat at that point. It was just Micah. What what Micah would do with this. Now some cats will dig out the scar, you know, you see them digging out stuff in cubbies and climbing in. Well, this was perfect. Um, the, he didn't get in it. He wasn't interested in it. So I ended up moving some scarves to this. And then when I could, I went out and bought two more here. Now I just had these guys stacked up on top of one another until just this past weekend when I added two cabinets. Now I'm going to come over and grab this phone really quickly and see if I can't show you an up close. Ah. Okay. See if I can't show you an up close of these guys. Now, please forgive my camera work. This is the cubbies. And then moving down to the, the cabinet. It has a really decent amount of space inside. Right now it is holding my makeup until I can get a, another solution for my makeup to keep cats and ch children out of it, um, out of sight, out of mind. So that's what I have right now on this side. And then coming around, I have on this side, here's up close kind of down here. And then here, let me move these guys out of the way. I have the headbands that the cats like to play with and then Bobo's and then some kits, some scarf kits down on the bottom here. Now I say that it's a, an ever, ever evolving process for scarf storage and and it is because I already have um, th some things that need to be in the unit that I have to figure out how to work into it like I have um, these guys here which are the scarf of the month subscriptions I keep them all together and I know that's a little obsessive but I keep them all together in their kit form inside of the bag and um, I'm trying to work on working them in there. So, oh my goodness, I may have to, to expand again. But this, let's talk about this solution here. I'm gonna sit back down and tell you, tell you what I've learned about this. This one, the pros and cons of this type of, of installment. Um, the pros, they are really neat. Um, I can find any scarf at any moment that I want. It took me exactly two seconds to grab these two scarves and, and no, you know, I didn't have to hunt for them. They were just right there, one, two. Um, I can categorize them easily. Only so many scarves fit in each, each nook, so I'm not cramming too many in. Um, but I can definitely keep like scarves together 
like pashmina, the soft pashminas in one, the Lakeshore Blisses in another section. Um, I can keep the, the um, let's see, the, all the sparkly scarves, the sparklicious and the shiny licious and um, their, um, the superhero scarf. I can keep them all together, but separate so that I can see each one because each scarf reacts differently and I will be able to just walk over and grab two scarves and I will know, I will know exactly by touch and experience now, but how I can wrap those scarves. And it's, it's, it, it, this has worked out well for me. Um, the center is what I, what I struggle with because everything is just piled in there. Um, I do, I do find that the cranberries, the heavier, heavier pashminas work really well being folded in there. It's just some of the other scarves that are ones they don't wear often um, that are too, too silky that just kind of, um, I love them, but they, I can't figure out a way to put them in out here. The um, oversized scarves, the oddball scarves, the, the ones that just don't fit in any category I've put in in there. So I need to find a way to categorize them past, past the first two shelves um, to make them neat. So like I said before, it's an ever evolving process. Um, so I'm still struggling with certain things, even with this massive, amazing, amazing um, storage solution. Now the cons, this does take up quite a bit of space. Um, even though this only 12 inches, 12 inches deep, um, it is pretty wide and it does take up a good amount of space. That's about the space where I could have a bed in this, in this room. If I, you know, if I were so inclined to use this as a guest room. Um, so, and, and, and it is a bit pricey. Now that's, I, that's something I didn't talk about with any of the other solutions. Um, and I probably should have. The hangers, depending on how many you need, aren't so expensive. The bins, um, they're not super huge expensive, depending on where you purchase them and what kind of fabric you're purchasing. Um, basket versions tend to be more, re real woven basket versions tend to be more expensive than say what I've got here, which was only a couple of bucks. This guy here was only a couple bucks. Now, the, um, the rack that I put together, depending if you're having to start from scratch, that can be expensive. Um, buying the, the rods, buying the, um, the drying rack for the rods, buying the, or just finding rods that will work. Um, buying the PVC pipe and the fittings, the glue, um, that the hinges, that is a little bit, well, that is a little bit pricey. Um, not as pricey as this, but it's, um, it can be a little, a little expensive. So I think, I think, I think I've covered the pros and cons of, of this guy here. And so this is where I am right now. And I, I feel the need to, I feel the need to expand already. I feel like I need to, to eliminate this little drawer here because I still have, I still have things that won't fit neatly into this unit. I think I need, there's, I would like to have some cubby holes um, for these kinds of boxes here to, to have those random odd things, the, the fascinators or the, um, those specialty kits that that I, I want to keep together as a kit and not split up in that kind that kind of thing. So I do I do hope that you found this video helpful. I'm trying to make sure there's nothing else that I need to talk about um, in this video. So I want to make sure I cover all the all the pros and cons. Now um again ask me any questions. Um make I'm looking forward to seeing your comments below about about the scarf storage it, and what you have found helpful um, in your journey through through this. Um, what are you? What, how do you store your scarves? Um, so, 
I'm just looking forward to all your comments and, and questions. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next tutorial.